Today, we're going to talk about reloading, how to stay lean without sacrificing during vacations and holidays. And years ago, I learned about reloading from my coach, Scott Abel, and he was kind of the, the godfather, if you will, of this whole concept, which is quite popular in the bodybuilding community. And then Bill Phillips kind of did his take on it, you know, with EAS years ago. And then now it's kind of moved a little bit more into the mainstream and there's some keys to doing this. And what is reloading? Well, anytime that you're going, and this is particularly for people who may be coming into the program and they're looking to kind of optimize their weight. So let's say you're going on a, you know, a, your food program, okay, or your, your food program, your nutrition program is designed for you to lose body fat. So basically, if you go back to your bucket, from a calorie perspective, you know, calories, your, here's your, you know, here's your burn rate. We've got your burn rate. This is how much you're expending. And then this is how much you're putting intake for food. Generally, you want to create a calorie deficit. Ideally, maybe 500 to 1,000 calories maximum. Uh, would be your calorie deficit in a dieting situation. So that will lead to you to one to two pounds of body fat per week that you would be losing. So this is quite common in, in people who are following any eating program in order to reduce their weight. The beauty is when you're doing all the bioptimizer stuff, you don't have the energy drain that's oftentimes associating with losing weight. And actually you start to feel more energized and better as your body gets cleaner and more efficient. So what was interesting with Scott is, is that after you've been, you know, on your program for about 12 weeks, and sometimes we'd start the sooner depending on the person, maybe we had started at six weeks, but whatever it is, when you start this, what happens is, is you stay in this calorie deficit for an extended period of time. And then what happens is once every week, once a week, or sometimes once every two weeks, you'll have a day which you'll reload. And this is a lot of fun. And I remember when I first heard this, I thought this was the craziest thing I ever heard. And what it means is, is you're gonna do a calorie spike. What that means is, so as you're going along with your metabolism, as you're losing weight, your metabolism oftentimes will start to slow a little bit. And if you stay at that for a certain point, here's what's going to happen. This is the plateau zone. This is where your weight loss or your weight program hits a plateau. And if you go below this, you start doing damage to your metabolism. This is where a lot of people that happen, you know, with eating disorders and stuff, they really start getting into, you know, starvation diets, which we don't recommend and that sort of stuff. So what would happen here is based on your biofeedback, when you get to a certain point where you start get to this plateau point, you have one of these calorie spikes. And in this case, you would eat, let's say you're on a 2,000 calorie diet eating program. Okay, you're on 2,000 calories a day. That day you would do five times the amount of calories. You'd go up to as much as 10,000 calories in a day. And you're going, wait, well, that's going to to totally blow me out. No, actually what happens is your metabolism is going to spike up. Number one, you're not going to be able to store any body fat because metabolically all your hormones are optimized and you know your, your glycogen stores are a little bit deplete, depleted, your fat cells are a little bit depleted. So what happens is you're going to spike here when you take in all these calories. Everything starts you know, working harder, your liver, your kidneys, your, all your organs starts heating up. Your body temperature will heat up excessively. And that's one of the interesting components. The other thing is, is because your metabolic environment is set up in a way that you, you're in fat burning mode, you won't store body fat. It's kind of like once you start gaining weight, it's just easy to gain more. But once you start losing weight, it's easy to keep doing it. The beauty is what happens is during this calorie spike, you'll increase your water retention. And sometimes, usually the weight gain would be somewhere between five and 10 pounds. Just for that one day of spiked up. Now, here's the thing. 
you didn't gain five or 10 pounds of fat. That's not possible to do that in a day. That'd be, you know, 3,500 calories to a pound. You'd have to have 35,000 calories and they'd all have to be stored. That's just not going to happen. What this is largely part is water retention and bulk of food inside your body. So after the spike, what happens is now you go back immediately to whatever your set point is. And you can figure this out on your, on your metabolic cal calculators. There's one right there on the MyPal um, program. You can just figure it out and it, it charge all that sort of stuff. So, and if you have any questions, just go to the website about this. So you go right back. Now, the interesting thing is, is the first day back, you know, you'll probably notice an increase in hunger and increased this is, uh, desire to eat. But what's interesting is you'll have more energy. You'll have kind of like fuller muscular development. So for those exercise people, like you just have a lot more swole, as they call it sometimes, inside your muscles. They, look, they just look fuller and better. And finally, right, more importantly, your metabolic set point is back up. And that's what you're looking to achieve. You want to get this back up here again. So when you spike back down, and guess what happens? By the end of the week, so after the seven days goes by, you're going to be down one to two more pounds. So once you've been hitting this plateau, it's really, really easy. In fact, a person that does this over, say, a course of 10 or 12 weeks will lose somewhere between 50 to 100% more body fat, and there won't be any stall zone. The other thing is, is once you've achieved the kind of desired weight, this calorie spiking, I think, is absolutely essential. And the reason being is, is your body's always be getting you know, more and more efficient. And so when you're spiking here, if you just stay on the same thing all the time, for calories, you know, you're here like this, but when you spike, you pick up the metabolism, you come back down, you spike, pick up the metabolism, you spike, you pick up the metabolism. This keeps you in the optimal fat burning zone. And the thing is, the, the key to making this all work is number one, you need to stay on a calorie restriction for, you know, at least six weeks and usually 12 weeks. That's long enough to metabolically set. And for the most part, most people would be in this room. It depends how much weight you have to lose. And then the second thing is you only spike, and I do this on biofeedbacks, once every one to two weeks. That's the magic zone. Now, as you get on to this, if you've been doing this for a year or so, or you're a hard training athlete, you might have to do a mini spike, but you'd want to go into one of the advanced coaching courses for that. Those are for the very high performers. If the things that you don't want to do, and by the way, when you're doing these calorie spikes, this is the day that you have your treats. These are the days that you hold out things that you would normally stay away from, that you feel that you're restricting from. That's the day to have those. So it's, people are kind of freaked out. And you know, Scott tells a story when he was teaching a muscle camp way back in the day that Chris Aceto, another well-known nutritionist, literally followed him, followed him around all the, day, all the day because he could not believe that Scott could stay so lean and do this. And of course, my all-time record, just so you know, is I managed to gain 17 pounds in one day. And at the end of the week, I was down two more pounds. That, that was the most extreme level I did. That was when I was way back in competing. So let me tell you, this does work. The thing is, is what not to do what not to do is spike more than once a week or more than once in your allotted period or two weeks, whatever that time is. The other thing is to make sure that you take in enough calories on the spike. Going from 2,000 to 3,000 isn't enough. You've got to get to at least 5,000 calories or more. So that means you're going to have to eat some calorie-dense foods. That'll keep your body so it can you know, metabolize all these things, keep your program up really high. And if you have questions, this is very complicated, I would refer you, you can check out Scott Abel's uh, website, or you can go to ours. Um, Scott's probably the master of this. He explains metabolism really deep, so our, you know, kudos to him. But more importantly, um, 
find your own pace. Again, remember, biological optimization isn't about finding, it's not about following one simple idea. It's about tuning your body to get things the way you need it, the way you want it, and that's the way it is with bio-optimization. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, if you have any questions, post them on the website. We'll be sure to answer them because you want to make sure you get this right. And this, by the way, this is an advanced technique. And, you know, if, it, it can be a little bit complicated. So if you have challenges with it, make sure you get professional advice before you enter. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. We'll see you on the next one.